Hello everybody, I hope you're doing well. This is a short video for you. I'm on a trip and, for a few days and I wanted to show you the perfumes that I brought along with me. And there isn't a whole lot of rhyme or reason to these choices. I just thought that they would be uh, suitable for my mood that I would probably be in and the places that I was going to be in. So I'll just start. With the first one here, this is uh, Jean Salt and Citrus by Theodoros Kalantinis, which is a Greek brand. This is a very salty uh, perfume. It has a prominent grapefruit note. That's what it says online. But for me, it is, I don't really get that. I get mostly a uh, salty, flaky, oceanic kind of smell. It's also very clean. So that's a nice choice to have um, when you're wanting to feel like very neutral. Another good neutral choice would be Rasasi by, um, or sorry, Fatan by Rasasi. And this is a, uh, like a dupe for Terra d'Hermes. Uh, it's very nice. Uh, and I've actually had a few other people comment on it and tell me that they thought it was a nice perfume. It's pleasing, it's woody, it's golden in feel. Uh, if you like Terra d'Hermes, you like that kind of DNA, I'd recommend this one. So uh, that is Fatan. The next one is Halston by Halston. And this perfume they say online that this is a perfume of Studio 54, which is really appealing to me. Um, that whole like disco, late 70s kind of feeling. And this is a really nice perfume. It's, um, what I get out of it is, uh, it definitely has a vintage Shepra kind of smell. It has some of that uh, sourness, that very uh, appealing sourness uh, that those have, but it also has a strong cigarette uh, smell to it, or tobacco. It's a strong perfume, and it's uh, I think it's great. So I brought that with me too. Um, so that's Halston. I talked about this one in the last video. This is uh, Persian Rose by Pacifica. It's a rose solo floor, like a very juicy, bright red rose. It has a little bit of fruitiness to it. It's really appealing, and I uh, like to pair it with Fatan. They go well together, and uh, I had mentioned that the two of them kind of give off the smell of Chanel Paris Paris. Not, it's not exact, but it's very close to it. Um, also, if you like Pearls de la Lique, you might like that combination, but this on its own is a very fresh, nice, rosy solo floor. Then what we have here is, this is called Smoke. It's an eau de parfum, and it's by a house based out of, it might be New Orleans. I know it's Louisiana. This is a perfume that has three notes, jasmine, vetiver, and citrus. To me though, I don't know if I particularly get any of those three notes, but it smells very much like an uh, Aveda spa kind of smell. It's very natural. Uh, I'll have to look more into it, but I think the brand is focused more on like using essential oils primarily and absolutes. So, um, who knows if that's entirely the case. I'm sure there's like aroma chemicals in here. Um, I don't know, maybe I'm wrong, but uh, it's a very, if you like that sort of whole foods, spa-like, um, Aveda kind of vibe, then smoke is a nice choice. Uh, and I figured this would be a pleasing perfume to wear anywhere, anywhere I went. This last perfume is one of my best finds of the year. This is called Mind Energy by The New Co. It's The New Co. This perfume, and I'm going to do a separate video on this one, 
This is a very peppery, fresh kind of scent. It's uh, geranium, I think there's clove in here, some citrus, uh, what else is in there? I can't remember, but it's to me a very, very fresh and spicy peppery kind of scent. And it has somewhat of a, a, a like a shower gel, fresh kind of sensation when you wear it. I love this perfume and I actually have a bigger bottle. I got this travel size to start off with. I never smelled it before and then I finally smelled it and uh, I fell in love with it. So I bought another bottle and you can get it for very cheap. Um, even from the company directly, a full size bottle, I it might be under a hundred dollars, I'm not sure, um, but it's a very affordable line. They have a few others. They have one called Functional Fragrance, which I've recently, I actually blind bought a bottle of that one. Uh, and unfortunately for me, that one is like very similar to Santal 33. But this one is um, right up my alley. I love it. Uh, so yeah, those are the perfumes that I brought along with me on my trip. Uh, yeah, thank you for watching and have a great day. Bye.